First ride, the 2022 Porsche 911 GT3. Ready to get started? First, subscribe to our channel below and like this video if you like Porsches. If turbochargers, hybrid systems, electric cars, self-driving and downsizing engines are what's in, then what is the new Porsche 911 GT3 doing without any of that stuff? The answer is, it's winning enthusiasts' hearts. In the 911 lineup, the GT3 is the model that provides a direct link to racing. While the Carrera and Carrera S have turbochargers, and of course, the turbo has turbochargers, the GT3 persists with a high revving, naturally aspirated engine. It's a car that a small group of engineers in Wysock has preserved with meticulous updates. The design is aggressive and helps the GT3 stand apart from the more daily friendly 911s. Note that the rear wing is mounted at the top, as we've seen on the McLaren Senna and numerous race cars. Hanging the wing from above provides an aerodynamic advantage over one mounted on the underside with conventional pylons. The seats are great, grippy, clad in microfiber with no wiggle room, but not uncomfortably tight either. Oh, and the regular 911 silly automatic shifter is gone. It's been replaced by a gear selector that lets you select gears like a real sequential gearbox, push to downshift, pull to upshift. Porsche appears to have listened to GT3 customers who voiced a preference for console shifters over steering, steering wheel paddles. While Porsche prefers the console shifter, the GT3 retains its wheel paddles too. For the real purists, the GT3 will still be available with a six-speed manual. Along with a short throw shifter, the manual has a rev match function that can be turned on or off independently of any other mode, but it's more fun to blip the throttle on a heel and toe downshift without the electronic help, right? The digital instrument displays are changed in the GT3 too. In the regular 992, the outermost gauges are obscured by the fat rim of the steering wheel. In the GT3, to make the information easier to read, there is a GT setting that moves the most relevant information closer to the center-mounted tachometer. One thing, Porsche isn't ready to disclose all the details on the engine. We're sure no current GT3 owner will be disappointed, but maybe they'll be devastated. In the new GT3, the naturally aspirated 4.0 liter flat six builds on the 991 Speedster's engine six individual throttle bodies, giving the engine a crisp, instant, and aggressive response to pedal commands. Power delivery is forceful and beautifully smooth, up to the lofty 9,000 RPM redline. We expect more than 500 horsepower, and the engine's sound is jubilant and clear. Its multi-link front suspension is derived from the RSR race car. From the passenger seat, it appears that the new GT3 turns in sharply and body control is exceptional. The brakes appear track ready. Iron brake rotors are standard. Slightly larger ceramic brakes are optional. This generation ditches the dynamic engine mount. Conventional mounts one out and are lighter than the electronically controlled one. Speaking of weight, the hood and engine cover are made of carbon fiber and the rear windows, at least in Europe, have thinner glass. Beyond the regular GT3, Porsche will offer a touring model again, inspired by the iconic 911R, devoid of the big wing, but with the same mechanical bits. This time around, Porsche will let touring buyers have an automatic transmission, the brand's superb PDK. Previously, the touring came only with the six-speed manual, and we expect a harder core RS model down the road as well. Porsche has produced a car that bucks the latest trend, and at the same time, they have created a pure, more aggressive, and captivating GT3. Maybe we'll get lucky, because we can't wait to drive it for ourselves. Thanks for watching, and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video.